presence is uh, MP Rudranath Indar Singh, the MP for Kuva South. And he is here at the Hindu Prachar Kendra, but he cannot stay on, for, stay on for the program because of uh, pressing demands from his constitu constituents in relation to crime. So I want him to talk about the crime situation in the country. Well, um, the, what is happening in Cuba South is more or less uh, uh, synonymous with the rest of the country where I think that uh, this government led by Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley and uh, his field minister of national security Fitzgerald Hine and by extension the National Security Council are deliberately or have deliberately allowed crime to rise exponentially in the last seven and a half years because they have failed to tackle crime fighting head on. For example, the, you didn't need a Caribbean symposium or a CARICOM symposium that would have cost the taxpayer $3.4 million to tell you that you need motor cars or vehicles for the police officers. You did not need uh, a, a symposium to tell you that there is the need for decisive legislation to tackle home invasion. You did not need a symposium to tell you that there is the need for joint police army patrols in the country. Tell me something, the, mem the opposition leader uh, in one Monday night forum spoke about stand your grounds. All right, can you comment on that, please? Well, I think that this is something that, that should be explored by the government. Um, the Prime Minister has said that the PNM will pursue what they have by themselves. I think given the uh, what is confronting all citizens of the country, we need all hands on deck and the government needs to uh, work with the opposition in pursuing le legislation to send a direct and clinical message to criminals as it relates to this home invasion scourge which is rampant and on the rampage throughout the length and breadth of this country. Now, Mr. Indarison, can you tell me about the Brent Thomas fiasco? What's your view on that? Well, uh, this is another, f this is another fiasco of regional proportion, and a citizen of this country cannot be abducted from foreign soil without the knowledge of the prime minister and without the knowledge of the minister of national security and members of the national security council. Police officers from this country cannot leave these shores without the minister and the prime minister being aware. They cannot um, bring back a person to this country with uh, the assistance of a regional security um, aircraft and we do not have government-to-government -government arrangements and so on. So the Prime Minister knows but because of the fiasco he's trying to take the easy way out and say, don't ask me nothing. Okay, thank you very much.